people. I got to tell you a little story about Lapidary Dave and his friend Steve. I met Lapidary Dave the other day. He's supposed to go out and sell some of my stuff out at that tailgate. And he returns my stuff. Fix tell something's missing. Thought of it's broke. It's just broke and stuff's missing. Anyways, I had a deal with him. 50-50 on everything. I trusted him. But this is some of the stuff here. Anyways, he called his friend Steve over. They went through my whole yard. Picked Cherry picked every thing here. He tells me that he was going to give me big numbers for all my stuff. And I figured he would... Because who wouldn't if you 50 50? So I was thinking thousands and thousands of dollars, dude, like maybe eight, twelve thousand bucks. Anyway, my yard's all tore up. It's just part of I'll give you a little tour of what happened. Missing slabs. And in good faith, I gave him a whole tray of, whole tray of uh, cabochons and some other stuff. This is some of my material. He was supposed to go out there and, and instead he got drunk. Didn't bring my stuff back till a week later. Lucky to get it back. But yeah, this is some of the material he took out there. But um, yeah, like I was saying, I gave him some calves. Probably about eleven hundred dollars worth of calves. Then I had to put it to a stop here because. After they started going through, through all my stuff here, look at all this, what they did to the yard. These were all big piles and piles of rock. Destroyed my yard. These piles used to be clear out to about right here of rocks. Now they're all buried. I got holes and pits in my yard. There's just more of it. But anyways, they were loading up this trailer and I started asking, well, how much money's going on here? And he says, three grand. So I'm like, what? I'm expecting more like 12. This is half of the stuff I pulled out of the trailer before they took off with it. I locked the gate, put everything to a stop, unloaded this trailer by myself. All this stuff here was gonna give me three grand just, and they wanted to finish filling up the trailer. And it was halfway filled. This was half and they wanted to fill it up with more. Here's some more of it. All this was gonna burn me for three grand. Yeah, he's a con artist, Lapidary Dave. He knows it. I know it, and I think you people should know it. This guy's out and just to steal you, your stuff. Anyways, with those cabs, he came back, gave me a hundred bucks for them. I thought it was 50 50, so I was expecting at least four or five hundred bucks. I don't know what he got for them. I know he got more than 200 bucks because I only got a hundred of it. But yeah, this is my yard now, all destroyed, everything everywhere. Yeah, I'm on disability, so now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this. It's, just, it's like a big hole here in my yard. That is deep. So, I thought you guys should know about this guy. He's a con artist. Don't trust Lapidary Dave. If you do, this could happen to you. Yeah, he made promises, didn't keep them. He's a fraud. And you know what? I don't know, just, I'm just so upset. Dude, this guy's nothing but a liar. The only thing that was good out of that is I met his grandmother. She's a nice woman. But Steve and him are cons. So beware of those two. Lapidary Dave and his friend Steve. Anyways, here's some stuff I had out there.
coral, some wood, a little bit of everything in here. But yeah, you can't get this stuff nowhere, dude. All this stuff's from Barsto. Yes. Who, who would do that to someone that problems 50 50, dude? Like that big sale of all them rocks? If I made 12 grand, I was going to give him six, but instead they wanted to rip me off. Then they act like they didn't know if they're partners in this stuff, they should know what's going on. I usually don't do videos, but I think you guys should know this, so beware. He's a snake. Just want to show you a little bit what's around here. So, all right. Y'all have a good day. And I got to figure out what I'm going to do with this.